Hello, what's up, YouTube? We're running with another tutorial, and in this tutorial, I want to show you high end skin retouching for this very image. I know so many of you fell in love with this very image, and I want to show you how I did the skin retouching for this image in Photoshop. So, the version of Photoshop that I'm using, I'm using Photoshop 2020, as you can see right here. And this is the image after retouching, and this is the before. So, I'm basically going to delete this layer so that we can do everything from the very start so i've deleted those layers so what i want to do right now i just want to come to my actions and you can see this is a 16-bit image so i'm just going to use my actions because i don't want this to be a very long tutorial and if i told you don't have the actions you can search in order to download the actions or you can as well support this channel by purchasing the retouching essentials pack that is containing all these actions right here so when you support the channel by purchasing, it will help us grow and motivate me to keep on creating more content for you guys. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to come to the 16-bit action and simply play it. So right now you have to move the radius up to the point when you're starting to close out on the details in the photo. So just going to move and look for the area that has more details and move the radius up to the point when I'm starting to close out on those details. So at round 7, I feel like we are good to go and I'm going to hit OK. So it is going to continue running and stop at creating a black and white layer. So the reason for creating this black and white layer is to act as a check for the uneven skin tones. You can see, right now you can see the uneven skin tone transition. So you can use this as a check layer or you can as well turn this off if at all you don't have a black and white layer with your, within your frequency separation you can as well turn it off or even delete it or just turn off the textures and in this case you're going to be seeing the uneven skin tone transition so remember skin retouching is more about evening out the skin tone transition so I'm just going to come to the low frequency layer and the skin tones are in the low frequency layer so just come and select it and come down here to the mixer brush tool. So I'm just going to right click and get the mixer brush tool. And if at all you have an older version of Photoshop, you may find your mixer brush tool right down here. And so I've got a new mixer brush tool. And for the settings, the hardness is at zero, meaning it is a soft brush. And make sure it is a clean brush right here. And we have two options right here. Make sure you select the second one because the second one is going to clean the brush when you are trying to blend in different colors because you don't want to carry a color that is different to another area because that is going to be distorting the original skin tones of the model the weight I'm going to be using a weight of 9, load 75 mix at night and the flow at 100% so make sure sample oils is not checked because when you check this it means that it's also going to be borrowing information from the texture layer and painting it in the color layer which we don't want so make sure this sample all layers option is not turned on and with the low frequency layer selected you're just going to slightly zoom in the image and start evening out the skin tone so if at all your mixer brush tool is looking like this make sure to turn off the caps lock key by clicking on it and you get this circle icon right there so how I'm going to do this, I'm just going to left click and start moving uh, the brush according to the area or the colors in that area. So I'm just going to be evening out those colors in those particular areas. And the more plastic the image turns out to be, the better the results at the end of this process. So you're just using the mixer brush tool to blend those colors or the skin tones. And you can see image is turning out to lose out the details, but this is really uh, the way to go because the more details you lose out or the more plastic the image ten turns out to be or to look, the better the results out at the end of using the mixer brush tool. So I'm just going to go through this quite faster because I don't want us to take a longer time in this tutorial. So let's just mix the colors and you can see I'm moving the mixer brush tool in the direction the face is moving so you can see this is an up down format or shape so I'm just going to move the mixer brush tool in that kind of direction 
just blending those colors and you can see it is really doing a nice and pretty great job so i'm just going to come and paint through just like that to even uh, the colors in those areas and you can come and check on the progress so far we're just coming right here and turning on the texture layer and you can see the before and after and we still have the original skin details in the image so i'm just going to turn this off and still selected on the low frequency layer or the color layer just going to come and continue evening out the colors or the skin tone so that i can harmonize and get more uniform colors and you can as well keep on playing with different sizes of the mixer brush tool by using the box brackets on the keyboard so the left bracket is going to reduce on the size and the right one is going to increase on the size of your mixer brush tool so let's just try to blend these colors and have a more uniform color transition or skin tone for this model so let's just do this and you can see it is really doing a nice job or a great job so let's just work on to the lower parts of the body for example the neck so i'm just going to come right here and even out those colors just like that so i'm basically mixing the colors that look alike together and where those colors are transitioning to for example mid-tones to the highlights are just going to blend that border so there is a smooth transition between those layers so i'm just going to come and work on these colors so you can see i'm just trying to blend and playing with different sizes of my mixer brush tool so that i can have the best results out of this overall image so i'm just going to do this and you can see it is really making this area look plastic but the more plastic it gets like i said the better the results you're going to be getting out of your retouching so don't mind if at all it is getting a little bit plastic because we have turned off the texture layer and in this case we're just working with the colors in this photo so just come and blend using the mixer brush tool these lower parts of uh, the model's body and reduce on the size and keep on playing around with different variations of your or different sizes of your mixer brush tool to work on the image to look quite better and if at all you may be wondering about the color grading i already uploaded a tutorial about how i did the color grading you can search on the channel and you see uh, that or watch that video or you can alternatively or i will just link it up in right above here so that you can check it out so we are done evening out the colors and let's see what we have done so far this is the image before and after before after we could as well come right here and also even out these colors even more so next thing is going to be applying the lasso tool technique and still with our low frequency layer selected come to the lasso tool and come make sure your feathering is between 22 and 25 pixels and zoom in so just want to refine the areas for example in the face that have not been affected by our mixer brush tool so let's come and make a selection and keep up from the eyebrows and the hair and the edges of the image so just come to filter blind come to gush and blur so you can come and click right here um, and move up the point when you feel like the texture is natural and where you want it to be or alternatively i usually multiply this by three so whichever radius you may have used when you're se separating the frequencies of the image just multiply that radius by three so for this case i'm just going to type in 21 so seven by three is 21 and i'm going to be applying this onto the rest of the image just like that and still the shapes i'm making on the face are following the area all the way the face is moving so you can see how i'm making those selections in the photo so just do that and you can see that this tends to refine the image even more and it makes it look quite better than just using the mixer brush tool so right click and come to gush and blur so we are done doing the skin retouching 
and let's see what we have in the before and after for this image that's the before and after before after so just want to remove the blemishes from this image so just come right here select the high frequency layer and get my clone sample tool i'm going to zoom in by using command plus on the keyboard to zoom in i'm going to reduce on the size of the clone sample tool. and how this works you hold down the alternate key on the keyboard and left click close to the blemish and simply left click over the blemish to get rid of it so that is what i'm going to do to clean up or remove these skin imperfections or blemishes from this image so you have to take your time like i always say when you're trying to clean up or remove blemishes from your portraits in photoshop because the more blemishes you leave out the worse or the more people are going to judge you so take your time while cleaning up and removing these imperfections from your images and let's just clean this up and soon enough we are going to be good to go to the next step and one of our final steps for this tutorial so just come right here and i'm just going to clean up this real quick like i said if at all you have all the time at disposal you can as well take that time and use it quite productively to clean up and work on the image quite better so that you can have the best out of it so let me just come and clean up those imperfections or blemishes from the image so let me just clean this up and right now we are almost done cleaning up these imperfections or blemishes from uh, this image so i'm just going to get rid of that line zoom out and look at the image from a distance and we have some tiny blemishes right here so let me just clean this up and we go to the next step for this tutorial just come and clean up this so we are done removing the blemishes and now the next thing we want to do is adding a little bit of shape or dimension to the image so this is a before skin retouching and this is the after so just want to come to the dodge and burn and add shape or dimension to the image so i'm just going to come to my action and play my global dodge and burn action and get a soft round brush and add an opacity of around 10 percent right here and i'm going to make sure it is white or white is on the foreground in order to reset to have black and white use click on these small boxes and you have white on top using x on the keyboard just a shortcut and now come to my burn and i feel like i just want to add a little bit of shape or dimension to these areas so i'm just going to paint using a white brush in these areas to extend to it or add shape just like that to this image and come to my dodge and also brighten so we are basically when you are dodging we paint or accentuate on the highlights and when we are burning we burn uh, the shadow so i'm just going to do this and i think that looks great so let's see a before and after for the dodging and burning so that's great so let's do a little bit of eye whitening to the eyes of a model so i'm just going to create a stamp visible layer by hitting shift alternate command e on the keyboard to create a stamp visible layer and i'm going to come to the camera roll filter and do the eye whitening so i'm just going to zoom into the eyes and now get my adjustment brush tool simply come to my preset and i have a a full story about eye and teeth whitening in photoshop so and in this i will be also teaching you how to create this custom brush and simply come and paint in the eyes to do the eye whitening just like that and this looks great you can do the same for your teeth whitening so zoom in by using command plus hold down the space bar to move around and you can whiten the teeth command minus to zoom out and this looks great so i'm just going to hit ok and come back to our selective color and add a little bit of blacks 
and add a little bit of blows to the image to make it pop a little bit more so after doing this we are just going to save the image so just come right here to file so this method is going to help you save the image and an image that is going to be sharp and not change in color when you post it on social media so just come to file export and come to export as and when you come to export as it's going to load for you another window right here and when you close that window make sure the resample is by cubic sharper and the format is jpeg so the format is jpeg and the quality at 100 percent make sure the sample is by cubic sharper and also check these two options that is convert to srgb and also embed the color profile and when the preview is done loading you see the image in this window right here so it is still loading and after that just come and hit export and you can choose the destination where you want to save the image and simply hit save so basically this is it for this story and if at all you love this don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe if at all you are watching and you're not a subscriber to this channel Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching. See you in it. More tutorials. And don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.